हेलो गाइस सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स सो बेसिकली वी हैव स्टडीड द बेसिक्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन व्हाट इज न्यूट्रिशन वी हैव स्टडीड द टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन ऑटोट्रॉफिक एंड हेट्रोट्रॉफिक देन वी हैव स्टडीड द सब टाइप्स ऑफ ऑटोट्रॉफिक एंड हेट्रोट्रॉफिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स सो न्यू प्लांट्स एज वी ऑल नो दैट दे आर ऑटो ट्रॉफिक इन नेचर दे डिराइव देयर फूड ऑन देयर ओन द प्रोसेस बाय विच द प्लांट्स ऑप्टेन देयर फूड दे आर नो दैट प्रोसेस इज नोन एज फोटो सिंथेसिस फोटो फोटो मीन्स लाइट एंड सिंथेसिस टू ऑप्टेन और टू join so we have discussed this basic uh, reaction uh, carbon dioxide and water combine in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll uh, they form glucose and uh, oxygen so what happens in plant basically uh, the sunlight when the sunlight falls on the leaves of the uh, plant leaf is having chloroplast in it due to the presence of chloroplast they uh, take up carbon dioxide and water uh, in order to produce glucose in the form of food and this glucose uh, uh, is along with oxygen oxygen is released out in the atmosphere which is been used by human beings for the process of respiration and the uh, the food that is been used up some of the glucose is been used up for the uh, by the plant for its deriving its nutrition and the rest is stored in the form of starch and uh, starch is the stored food in plants so uh, basically what happens what are the basic steps of uh, photosynthesis carbon dioxide first of all six molecule of carbon dioxide in are involved carbon dioxide from where it enters it enters into the leaves and now from where it is entering into the leaves through tiny pores called as stomata so uh, the, these these are the uh, stomatal pores which are being surrounded by these two this and this guard cells Uh, which is being surrounded by the uh, two guard cells this and this these are the guard cells and this is stomatal pore uh, which helps in entry of carbon dioxide into the leaves now uh, second requirement is water water is uh, where it is going to come from water enters into the plant through soil and the uh, end products are glucose and uh, oxygen so uh, oxygen is released into the atmosphere as i told you that it is being used up by the plant uh, animals for the process of respiration then food is produced in the form of glucose glucose is converted into starch both of both glucose and starch are carbohydrates glucose is the monomer of st uh, starch and starch is the polymer of glucose whenever the uh, extra food is there that is being stored up by the uh, plant in the form of starch so the, what are the basic events of photosynthesis first is absorption of sunlight by the chlorophyll chlorophyll uh, takes up the uh, um, chlorophyll takes up the sunlight and uh, the site uh, chlorophyll is basically the site of photosynthesis in leaves so in leaves chlorophyll is the green colored pigment i have drawn the diagram see you can see the diagram this is upper epidermis of the leaf this is lower epidermis of the leaf in the lower epidermis they here are the stomata and the guard cells and uh, this layer it belongs to spongy mesophyll cells and the layer just below the up upper epidermis is palisade cells and there is a layer called vascular tissue which is composed of xylem and phloem xylem is the food conducting tissue and phloem is the water conducting tissue so now basically we come to chlorophyll chlorophyll is present in chloro plast chloroplast is the cell organelle present in the 
plant cell this uh, this uh, chloroplast the cell originally basically it is known as plastid and it is present on the upper epidermis of the leaf in between palisade or mesophyll cells so uh, chlorophyll uh, be, uh, in ninth class you must have studied the structure of plastids that there are thylakoids are there stroma is there uh, then uh, gran uh, grana are there uh, which is ultra structure of uh, chloro uh, chloroplast so thylakoids are the basic grana and thylakoids are the basic part of uh, plant where the uh, chloro uh, photosynthesis takes place so the second event of photosynthesis is conversion of light energy into the chemical energy so what uh, light energy is being converted into chemical energy with the help of thylakoids and the water splits into hydrogen and oxygen the water the hydrogen of uh, water is used for the formation of glucose and oxygen is broken down and released into the atmosphere carbon dioxide is reduced into the glucose into the carbohydrates next what are the raw materials for the process of photosynthesis so if we talk about raw material for the process of photosynthesis then uh, there are two types of uh, Uh, the basic raw material is carbon dioxide and water see uh, in the previous reaction of photosynthesis what we studied that carbon dioxide and water they go into the cell and what is released out is uh, the carbon oxygen and glucose so carbon dioxide is taken up into the cells uh, plant cells by stomata this is the structure of stomata this is close open pore and this is co closed pore these are the these both are the guard cells and outer uh, this layer is this is stomatal pore from where And this is surrounded by mesophyll cells so uh, this pore basically takes up the oxygen when it's open that means it is taking up the oxygen from atmosphere when it is closed uh, it is uh, it is shut for the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere this uh, this is the nucleus of the guard cell in this in the center this 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 is the nucleus of the guard cell then next second requirement is water water i as i told you that there is xylem vas in the inside vascular tissue there are two types of tissue xylem and phloem xylem is responsible for what conduct uh, water conducting tissue or it is also known as water conducting tissue and it takes up water from the root of the plant from the root to the tip of the plant by the process of osmosis now what is osmosis movement of solvent from lower concentration from higher concentration to the lower concentration so what when water is more in in outside uh, the roots it is being taken up by by the process of osmosis and apart from this nitrogen phosphorus potassium magnesium and iron these are taken up by the soil so this is all about photosynthesis so the the basic conditions are for the photosynthesis is presence of sunlight sunlight is very much necessary for the process of photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis is to obtain plants can only obtain their food by the process of photosynthesis and if sunlight is there only then they can carry out this process the second requirement is chlorophyll plants uh, chlorophyll is very much necessary for conversion of light energy into chemical energy then the basic requirement is carbon carbon dioxide and water carbon dioxide is required and then second is water so uh, we can prove that chlorophyll is there in the leaves of plants uh, suppose we can take uh, we can uh, prove is this by doing an activity take a variegated plant uh, like uh, the plant in which uh, 
plant leaf sorry the leaf in which there is white color is also there means there is absence of photosyn uh, chlorophyll as well as photosynthesis present the best example around us is money plant leaf money plant leaf contain money plant leaf contain uh, the non green part as well as green part boil that leaf and uh, put it into the iodine solution so iodine what happens in iodine solution the blue black color will appear if the blue black color appear that me indicates the presence of chlorophyll so what happens why it turns blue because the, in uh, green parts of the leaf starch is there and when iodine react with starch in it uh, the reaction uh, occurs and it converts the starch into uh, the green color into blue black color which indicates the presence of chlorophyll like this there are so many activities you can do and those all activities are based on this simple experiment so this is all about nutrition in plants next we will do nutrition in animals thank you